Welcome back to Blender Shishi Life Nordic. In this episode, I will be testing out the new nodes for Geometry Nodes called Viewer Nodes. So this Viewer Node, as its name says, should be able to give you some kind of uh, visualizations of what's going on. For example, okay, we start with uh, this default cube, but we're gonna replace it with a plane, for example, or a grid. And with this grid, Let's say let's make this bigger and make it 10 by 10. If we shift A and create viewer node, we can see this is expecting uh, this uh, geometry value and a certain value, and it's set to auto. There are all kind of options, point, edges, face, but uh, let's set it for auto for now and. If we just plug in like the position of our grid, let's save this very quickly. Viewer study. If we plug in the position, I believe we we can start to see something. Okay, we can see it's giving a some like a value. It's not so clear what it is. We can try plugging the noise texture, for example, and plug in the color. Okay, we can we can see it's a noise value, but it's not. Uh, I'm expecting to see like RGB kind of color. Maybe if I plug in plug in the positions, no, still not RGB. Maybe currently it's st it's still a uh, kind of. Um, alpha so but I want to see if, if I if I use subdivide for example and plug this there okay still the color is not uh, in RGB let's see um, vertices 2 if I change the vertices you can see the noise it's getting some kind of visualizations. I have a feeling because this viewer value is set to gray at the moment. If I control shift, control shift click, now suddenly we have RGB noise and this auto value is changing to RGB because it's a uh, it's three, three color, right? Like RGB and, and XYZ. Um, Okay, so normally this is associated with a uh, node wrangler, like node wrangler, if you are using it in the shader, enable you to quickly have a shortcut and then, so we have like a viewer visualizations. So with the latest geometry nodes in Blender 3.4 alpha, we are getting this viewer node. So control shift click can enable you to quickly uh, set uh, yeah like okay, apparently if you control shift and click on the noise it's gonna toggle between this value and the color value okay so that's good uh, let's uh, let's try what we can do further with this maybe we can use curve map or Let's do something. We can see the color based on noise, which is nice. Let's make this useful. Set positions. Uh, normally, the quick way we can see something different is to plug in, plug this into position or offset. But as you can see, because we have this viewer being turned on. The preview is not showing the final geometry, so it's something to keep in mind. Um, I watched Blender today, and also these viewer nodes can be adjusted here. Okay, so the, this is the visualization of this value of the noise texture. Okay, so if we use something like vector math, we can translate 
this uh, noise value and also we can yeah we can translate it in z axis and we can see the noise is changing we can scale the texture also and play around with this value and distort for example okay so normally the way the way to do this to be it's a little bit clearer it's like this so the top part is doing all the processing and the bottom part is other value this is like like a basic setup um, okay let's see if I set this to two and I subdivide multiple time we can now easily for example if you want to yeah we want to play around with the offset for example you can see the noise value is offsetting our plane normally we want to um, use vector math vector math and normalize the noise And over here, we want to use set shade smooth. Okay, so everything works correctly. Let's try replacing the grid with a box, for example, or a cube. So a cube being subdivided, and we offset it using this noise. We get that. So it's, I think I'm still getting used to this workflow. So if we, so apparently, if I turn this off, we can see the result. If I click here, if I click here, we get the noise back. Okay, that's uh, okay. Let's try something else instead of the noise plugged into offset right away we can perhaps use normal plug this normal into the viewer we can see this result um, if we plug the positions we get yeah kind of like a blurred rgb okay now with the normal I want if I want to use this to push and offset our objects mm. yeah, maybe I, I don't need to deal with normal for now I just want to see um, other value for example different texture like uh, wave foronoi 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 is a good one and mass grave texture if we plug this into the viewer we can see the texture so it's almost like a shader but in this case it's just like a some kind of uh, visualizations of the texture of the procedural textures so if we kind of mix and match the, the noise for example the noise if we plug the noise output uh, into the Voronoi we get this result And from this result, we can plug this in back into the offset, turn off the viewer. So that's the result. Maybe reduce the distortion. So at the moment, yeah, it's still, it's pretty random. Let's see, I have an example here that's probably a little bit more useful 
it's like a displacement modifier displace modifier I have a geometry coming in which is the cube and then I subdivide this the mesh using subdivision surface and set the position and offset in this one I'm actually using normal and multiply this with the, the noise and blender crashes I think the viewer nodes is still pretty much alpha I want to see okay yeah it's supposed to give me that so normal multiply if I control shift the normal you can see that value and the control shift on the noise on the scale on the multiplier you can see the result instantly and if we turn this off we get the result so this is using mass grave I believe so I'm skip I'm multiplying the normal with the texture this is using mass grave the scale we probably need one more control here for the displacement another factor mass set to scale okay so this is mass graph textures we can control the position Let's turn this off and we can see the result. So still, yeah, I think it's slightly tricky to use the first time, but control, control, shift, click, basically enable you to toggle the value very quickly for the noise, mask grave texture or other kind of texture. White noise, noise, mask grave checker or wave texture I like the wave texture control shift click yeah we'll connect this texture into the value and it's still looking at the the geometry nodes from uh, after it's being subdivided before it is being displaced okay this is the displacement so if we are using the wave texture now plug into the normal We get this result you can also plug this into the different nodes so it's still still take time to get used of this to this uh, but at least now we have like a viewer nodes so noise must grave texture so we need a value coming in and then we can check out how it influences the points the edge face face corner spline so if we actually let's say we are using geometry nodes to generate uh, vertex color we can visualize this a little bit faster if I compare this with uh, sphere chalk, sphere chalk nodes, before geometry nodes, I use sphere chalk a lot. Um, control shift click will actually will actually give this visualizations. And if I'm not wrong, we also have the vertex color MK3, which can be used to visualize uh, the result. Let's mess viewer. So with spare chalk, we also have like a viewer node, which is more or less the same. Okay, I just I just moved the plane to the side. So this is the final 
uh, plane okay geometry being generated by this this guy over here and we have this temporal viewer and also if we want to visualize this with vertex color we can do the same like this okay no vertices that are ever blah 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 back then this is how I do it yeah okay similar it's a uh, vertex and face yeah it's piping the color data from vector noise into the vertices or the face and with sferto even though it's just like a an add-on I think this one kind of piping the data directly into the attributes vertex, uh, face corner right away with geometry nodes if you want to pipe this out if you want to pipe the data out into vertex color you need to do something else like maybe you create the attributes first and then you pass the data that way let's say geometry nodes color data type yeah maybe color or byte color i don't know let's just say the color with fair chalk it's a yeah we act we're supposed to use a byte color i believe for face corner so this is wrong face corner byte color so if we if we are doing doing it this way we can then instead of just the viewer we can pipe in the the noise into the attributes gn call and this should go to gn call so now this guy should have the value pipes into the vertex color okay yeah so basically it's all about being able to visualize the value or data so again with the sphere chalk we are doing it this way in order to see the noise as a vertex color um, with sphere chalk you also have stethoscope which is really handy with this guy we can just plug in the data um, for example the vertex goes into the data and we can see oh yeah the value is over there I think it's probably like currently it's still about there's a bug in Mac like uh, the same thing with geometry nodes if I go back to geometry nodes and then hold options um, option right click or yeah option and right click I supposed to be able to connect the nodes this way this is using node wrangler but the placement of the position is incorrect so for now control shift click left mouse button will connect the output of the the value the nodes output into the viewer nodes so this is I think one hotkey you need to remember because it's, it's really handy in order for quickly switching the output of the nodes into the viewer nodes and if you turn this viewer off we actually see the final output so So yeah, so the, so that's basically the process. It's a yeah, it's a little bit funny, but I think it's gonna be super handy. This little node to to be able to visualize the value. Okay, so that's basically what I want to show you. Uh, it's the first time for me using the viewer nodes. Uh, 
So hopefully you find it useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.